Blessed are you, O Lord, blessed are you. Teach me your commandments. You have been our refuge, Lord, from one generation to the next. I cried out, Lord, have mercy on me. Heal my soul, for I have sinned against you. I run to you, O Lord, teach me to please you, for you are my God. For in you is the fountain of life, and in your light we see light. For for your mercy, on those who know you, Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Immortal, have mercy on us, Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Immortal, have mercy on us, Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Oh, Βασιλεία του Πατρό και του Ιού και του Αγίου Πνεύματο, νυν και αγί και ει του αιώνα των αιώνων. Χριστό σαν έστι εκ νεκρών, φανάτων, φανάτων πα. Jesus, get this and this name I see. So in Christ's In peace, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace of God and salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For peace in the whole world, for the stability of the holy churches of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy house, for those who enter with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. 
Archbishop Alexios, for the honorable presbyters, the deacons, in the service of Christ, let in all the clergy and lady, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our country, the president, and all those in public service, let us pray to the Lord. For the holy great church of Christ in Constantinople, for the holy metropolis, this parish and city, for every city and country, for the faithful who live in them, let us pray to the <laughs> Lord. Lord have mercy. For favorable weather, abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for temperate seasons, let us pray to the Lord. travelers by land, sea, and air, for the sick, the suffering, the captives, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and distress, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Remember our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary. With all the saints, let us commit ourselves to one another, and her whole life unto Christ our God. Επίση πάσα δόξα τιμή και προσκύνηση στο πατρί και του Ιω και του Αγίου Πνεύμα την ειν και αΐ και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων. have mercy upon us and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Remember our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary. With all the saints, let us commit ourselves to one another and our whole life unto Christ our God. Yours the dominion, the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. the Lord, my soul. I will praise the Lord throughout my life. I will praise Him as long as I have breath. Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob, whose hope is in the Lord, his God. Say, also, Son of God, who rose from the dead, save us to sing to you, Alleluia. The Lord grant 
Jacob to the ages of ages, your God, O Zion, from one generation to the next. So, so, ni masi akteru, o anastas eknekron, salondasi alleluia, o sabatrikeo, ke aion mevati, again pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord have mercy. Remember our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary. With all the saints, let us commit ourselves to one another and our whole life unto Christ our God. To you, O Lord. For you are a good and loving God, and to you we give glory. To the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. of congregation, bless God the Lord from the springs of Israel. Save us, O Son of God, who rose from the dead. We sing to you, Alleluia.
Σε φεύγω σιμών και σε την δόξα να πέμπω με το πατρί και το ιό και το ιό πνεύμα τι νην και αι και εις τους αιώνας τον αιώνο. Great is our Lord and great is his power. Praise the Lord for the Lord is good. Wisdom. The reading is from the Acts of the Apostles. Let us be attentive. In those days, many signs and wonders were done among the people by the hands of the apostles. And they were all together in Solomon's portico. None of the rest dared to join them but the people held them in high honor. And more than ever, believers were added to the Lord, multitudes, both of men and women, so that they even carried out the sick into the streets and laid them on beds and pallets, that as Peter came by, at least his shadow might fall on some of them. The people also gathered from towns around Jerusalem 
bringing the sick and those afflicted with unclean spirits, and they were all healed. But the high priest rose up, and all of them with him, that is the par party of the Sadducees, and filled with jealousy, they arrested the apostles and put them in the common prison. But at night, an angel of the Lord opened the prison doors and brought them out and said, Go and stand in the temple and speak to the people all the words of this life. Praxis Apostolon, to anagnasma ina apo. Sophia Proskoman. En tis imeras ekinas, διάδεν των χειρών των Αποστόλων Αιγίνωτοβ, σημαία και τέρατα εν το λαό πολλά και ήσαν ομφοδημαδών άπαντας εν την στοά Σολομόντος. Τον δε λοιπόν ούδης έτολμα, κολάστε αυτής, αλ εμεγαλύνει αυτός ο λαός, μάλλον δε προσετίθεντο πιστεύοντας το Κυρίο. Πλήθη ανδρών τε και γυναικαίων, ώστε κατά τας πλατείας εκφέρειν τους ασθενείς, και τυθέντε επί κλίνων και κρεβάτων, είναι ερχομένου Πέτρο και αν η σκιά επισκιάσει την ία αυτών. Συνέρχεται δε και το πλήθος των περίξ πολέων εις Ιερουσαλήμ, φέροντος ασθενείς και οχλουμένος από πνευμάτων ακαθάρτων, ότι νες εθεραπεύοντο άπαντας. Αναστάς δε ο αρχιερεύς και πάντας εις αυτό, η ούσα έρεση των Σαδουκαίων επλήστησαν ζήλου και επέβαλαν τα σχήρε αυτών επί του Αποστόλου και έθεντο αυτού εν τηρήσι δημοσία. Άγγελο δε κυρίω διά τη νυχτό ήναξαν τα αστήρα τη φυλακή. Εξαγαγόντε αυτού είπεν: Πορεύεστε και στάθεντε λαλίτε εν το ιερό τον λαό πάντα τα ρήματα τη ζωή ταύτη. Ειρήνη, peace be with you, the readers. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. And before we rise to hear the Holy Gospel, let us pray to the Lord. Shine within our hearts, loving Master, the pure light of your divine knowledge, and open the eyes of our minds that we may comprehend the message of your gospel. Instill in us also reverence for your blessed commandments, so that having conquered sinful desires, we may pursue a spiritual way of life, thinking and doing only those things that are pleasing to you. For you, Christ our God, are the light of our souls and bodies, and to you we give glory, together with your eternal Father and your holy good and life and spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. Wisdom arise, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be with you all. And with your spirit. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Let us be attentive. On the evening of that day, the first day of the week, the doors being shut where the disciples were for fear, Jesus came and stood among them and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. Then the disciples were glad when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, even so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven. If you retain the sins of any, they are retained. Now Thomas, one of the twelve, called the twin, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples told him, we have seen the Lord. But he said to them, unless I see in his hands the print of the nails and place my finger in the mark of the nails and place my hand in his side, I will not believe. Eight days later, his disciples were again in the house, and Thomas was with them. The doors were shut, but Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands, and put out your hand and place it in my side. Do not be faithless, but be believing. Thomas answered him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Have you believed because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and yet believe. 
Now Jesus did many other signs in the presence of his disciples, which are not written in this book. But these are written that you may believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, and that believing you may have life in his name. O de ipen aftis eian mi ido entes hier sin aftu ton tipon ton ilon, ke valo ton vachtilon mu is ton tipon ton ilon, ke valo tin hiram mu is tin prevran aftu, u mi pistefso, ke methi meras octo pali nisan eso i mathite aftu, ke thomas met afton, erhete o isus, ton thiron ke clismenon, ke esti is ton meson ke ipen, irini imin, ita legi to thoma. Φέρε τον δακτυλόν σου όδε και είδε τα σχυρά μου και φέρε την χειρά σου και βάλε εις την πρευράν μου και μη γίνω άπιστος αλλά πιστός. Και απεκριθεί ο Θωμάς και είπε αυτό ο Κύριος μου και ο Θεός μου λέγει αυτό ο Ιησούς ότι ερωρακάς με πετίστευχας μακάρι οι μη ειδώντες και πιστεύσαντες Πολλά μεν ούν και άλλα σημεία επίσης ο Ιησούς εν οποιών το μαθητών αυτού αού και έσυ εγραμμένα εν το βιβλίο τούτο Τα αυτά δε γέγραπτε ή να πιστεύσετε ότι Ιησούς έστειν ο Χριστός ο Υιός του Θεού και είναι πιστεύοντες ζωή να έχετε εν του ονοματή αυτού Υπό το κράτο σου πάντοτε φυλατώμενοι, Σιδόξα να αναπέμπω με το πατρί και του Ιω και του Αγίου Πνεύμα την ίν και αή και ει του αιώνα των αιώνων. Represent the cherubim and sing the thrice holy hymn to the life-giving Shinni Leas Leas on our worldly cares.
Χριστή Κύριος ο Θεός εν τη βασιλεία αυτού πάντοτε νυν και αΐ και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων. Το κόσπον φωξ πόμιενε σφένα σου τσάρβος φωγε Σφάγκτα σαν τα Ιουβέκ, Ιούς φεβέκοβάτ. de nosotros en su reino eternamente, ahora y siempre, por los siglos de los siglos. May the Lord God remember all of you in his kingdom, both now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. May God remember your priesthoods in his kingdom. Προτεθέντων τμήν δώρων του Κυρίου δε ηθόμεν For this holy house, for those who enter with faith, reverence and the fear of God Let us pray to the Lord Υπέτρι στην εμάς από πάσης θρύψε ως οργής κινδύνων και ανάγκης του Κυρίου δε ηθόμεν. Αντιλεβούσον σον ηλίσον και ακ φυλάξον ημάς ο Θεός της ηχάρητη. Perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless day, let us ask the Lord. For an angel of peace, a faithful guide, a garden of our souls and bodies, let us ask the Lord. For forgiveness and remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask the Lord. For all that is good and beneficial to our souls and for peace in the world, let us ask the Lord. For the completion of our lives in peace and repentance, let us ask the Lord. For a Krishna into our lives, peace without shame and suffering, and for a good account before the awesome judgment seat of Christ, let us ask the Lord. Remembering our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, never Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord, the 
Ανθρώπου Κατορθώντα εκ των ουρανών και σαρκωθέντα εκ πνεύματο Αγίου και Μαρία τη Παρθένο και ενανθρωπίσαντα. Σταυροθέντα τε υπερημών, επίπουν διού πιλάτου και παθώντα και τα φέντα. Και αναστάντα τη τρίτη ημέρα κατά τα σγραφά. Και ενωθώντα ει του ουρανού και καθεζόμενα εκ δεξών του πατρό. Και πάρεν ερχόμενα με τα δόξη, κρίνε ζώντα και νεκρού, ούτε βασιλεία ούτε έστε τέλο. Και στο πνεύμα, το Άιον, το Κύριον, το Ζωπιόν, το έκτο πατρός εκπορευόμενον, το συμπατρί και γιο συμπροσκυνούμενον και συνδοξαζόμενον, το λαλίσαν δια των προφητών, εις μίαν, αγίαν, καθολικήν και αποστολικήν εκκλησίαν, ομολογώ εν βάπτισμα εις άφεσιν αμαρτιών, προστοχώ ανάστασιν νεκρών και ζουήν το μέλλοντος αιώνος, αμήν. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten, not created, of one essence with the Father, through whom all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and was incarnate by the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man. He was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate, and he suffered and was buried. On the third day he rose according to the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. His kingdom will have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son is worshiped and glorified, who spoke through the prophets, in one holy Catholic and Apostolic Church, I acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I expect the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. Let us stand well, let us stand in awe, let us be attentive, that we present the holy offering in peace. Ιχάνης του Κυρίου μόνη Ιησού Χριστού και αγάπη του Θεού και Πατρός και η κοινωνία του Αγίου Πνεύματος ή με τα πάντων ημών. On the scomentas cardias that has left up our hearts. That have been restored upon us, we also thank you for this Let us give our thanks to the Lord. From six wing many eyed soaring in their wings, singing the victory, and proclaiming, crying out, and saying, 
Τον επινίκιον ύμνον αδόνα βόνα και χραγότα και λέγοντα Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna to God in the highest. Together with these blessed powers, merciful master, we also proclaim and say, You are holy and most holy, you are the only begotten the Son, the Holy Spirit. You are holy and most holy, and sublime is your God. You so loved your world that you gave your only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. He came and fulfilled the divine plan for us. On the night when he was delivered up, or rather on the night when he gave himself up for the life of the world, he took bread and his holy, pure, and blameless hands. He gave thanks, blessed, sanctified, broke, and gave it to his holy disciples and apostles. Take. Eat, this is my body which is broken for you for the forgiveness of sins. Lavete, fagete, tutum oestito soma, tu iperimon clomenoni savasina martio. Likewise, after supper, he took the cup, saying, Drink of it, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Pietex of tu pandes, tu tu esti to amamu, to tis kianis tia thikis, to iperimon ke pelone kinomenon, is avesina martion. Just a reminder, as we are in the Pascha season, we do not kneel during the consecration of the gifts. Remembering, therefore, this command of the Savior and all that came to pass for our sake, the cross, the tomb, the resurrection on the third day, the ascension into heaven, the enthronement at the right hand of the Father, and the second and glorious coming. We offer to you these gifts from your own gifts and all and for all. Once again, we offer to you this spiritual worship without the shedding of blood, and we ask, pray, and entreat you, send down your Holy Spirit upon us and upon these gifts here presented. Master, bless the holy bread. And make this bread the precious body of your Christ. Amen. Master, bless the holy cup. And that which is in this cup, the precious blood of your Christ. Amen. Amen. Master, bless both gifts. Changing them by your Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 So that they may be to those who partake of them for vigilance of soul. Communion of the Holy Spirit, fulfillment of the kingdom of heaven, confidence before you, and not in judgment and condemnation. Again, we offer this spiritual worship to repose in the faith. Fathers, fathers, patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, and ascetics, and for every righteous spirit be perfect in faith. Τη Παναγία Αχράντου, υπερευραγημένη εν δόξου δεσπίνη Σιμών Τεοτόκου και η Παθάνο Μαρία.
erroneous, and for those in public service, permit them, O Lord, to serve and govern in peace that through the faithful conduct of their duties we may live peaceful and serene lives in all piety and holiness. Above all, remember, Lord, Lord Archbishop Alexios, grant that he may serve your holy churches in peace, keep them safe, honorable, and healthy for many years, rightly teaching the word of your truth. Remember also, Lord, those Omitrius calls to mind, and all your people. this city in which we live in every city and country and the faithful who dwell in them. Remember, Lord, the travelers, the sick, the suffering, the captives, granting them protection and salvation. Remember, Lord, those who do charitable work, those who serve in your holy churches, and those who care for the poor, and send your mercy upon us all. We pray for those who are enduring religious persecution throughout the world, those who suffered in the Parkland shootings, and those in Syria who are struggling in conflict there, as well as your servants, Athanasius, Julie, Tara, Peggy, Charles, Carmen, Nick, Effie, Mary, Dean, Filonella, Nick, Catherine, Christos, Adele, Presitera, Athena, Spir Spiri, Anna, George, Katarina, Stacy, Emmanuel, Marcia, Julian, Evangelia, Christian, Olivia, Gerald, Michael, Anthony, David, John, Lubav, Andrea, Joanna, Deborah, Aram, Dimitrios, the priest, Connie, Marina, uh, Willie, Elias, Eleanor, Sophia, and Mary. With one voice and one heart we may glorify and praise your most honored and majestic name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. And the mercy of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, shall be with you all. And with your spirit. At this time we offer our stewardship offering for our St. Mark Parish, the first tray for our general stewardship with the second tray going for our capital improvements of the church. May we all give joyously to our Lord and to our beautiful St. Mark Church. Praise God always. Good morning. Christos Anesti. What a beautiful, beautiful week we had of Holy Week leading up to Pascha, the 40 days before that. I thank all of you for your coming here and for participating in the services. It's such a beautiful opportunity. At St. Mark, we also have our live streaming services, and we give thanks to those who are in the back room playing, I shouldn't say playing, but maneuvering the cameras at all times. On the Easter night vigil, to give you an idea, the Pascha liturgy, we had probably 600 people in church up until communion in the end. But after, I say what's so beautiful, online, as of three days after, 2,400 people have already viewed the Paschal Liturgy of St. Mark. It's indeed a blessing. It's such a great outreach tool that we have for not only shut-ins, but for those people who cannot attend liturgy. Of course, attending liturgy is always our first option. We had a beautiful week and it didn't stop. The day after, on that Tuesday, bright Tuesday, our young children, our little, little ones, the mommy and me gathered with Father Stephen and we had a beautiful Easter egg hunt that day. Last evening, our St. Mark softball team was in the championship game. We lost, but that's okay. The good news, we came in second place. So we play with all the different churches and the synagogues throughout Boca Raton. So it's a real nice outreach for us, for people to know who we are and we're looking forward the next season starts in May for those of you who are interested please come and see me and we'll keep our game going it's a lot of fun um, also this week on Monday Tuesday Wednesday we'll be hosting the Archdiocese Presbyters Council and what is that each metropolis has two representatives two priests and together they make up the National Presbyters Council so from our metropolis Father Paul Caplanis from Atlanta, the cathedral, and myself here represent all of our clergy. And then we are going to be meeting with our executive board down here with about 20 priests Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday at the church. And we're looking forward to a beautiful time. On Saturday night, we have a beautiful next Saturday coming up. Our seniors are doing a beautiful event, an Italian night, a delicious dinner. All are welcome. And then we're leading up to our feast day celebrations on April 24th with Vespers a Sfalopticos sponsored reception and the 25th Divine Liturgy and then in May starting up our Bible studies again. It's indeed a true blessing. I want to though talk to you next Sunday we have our parish assembly but the Sunday after 
is a, another beautiful outreach opportunity. We are doing something called Feeding Children Everywhere. We did this last year with our Philoptikos, then the Ahepa did it a few months later, but this year we're doing it as an entire parish. And together we are going to serve 20,000 meals. So we will come together as a parish. We're investing a lot of finances into this. It's almost $7,000, but we're coming together as a parish and after liturgy we're going to go into the hall for coffee hour and afterwards there's an opportunity for all of us to take part to scoop out some rice some beans into different bags so that in essence when we're done here it'll take about an hour and a half we need about 80 volunteers it would be great if everyone could come and give five ten minutes of their time we are going to be able to feed 20,000 people in that one hour and a half two hours um, April 22nd. It's important because at St. Mark we put a focus not just on inreach to our own but also to outreach to other people to help those who are in need. We do so with our many Orthodox agencies that are blessed by the assembly but also we do that locally as well. So I pray that you'll be part of it and that you'll want to come and volunteer. Starting on this Tuesday in the email blast there'll be a sign-up sheet next Sunday as well. Let's all come out so that together we can help end we would say poverty and, and, and those young children who have no food and they're not able to even sustain their life. May God bless us all. Let's continue to be that light of Christ in a dark world. Amen. Having remembered all the saints, let us again in peace pray to the Lord. For the precious gifts offered and consecrated, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That our loving God, who has received them at his holy, heavenly, and spiritual altar, as an offering of spiritual fragrance, may in return send upon us divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit, let us pray. Having prayed for the unity of faith, for the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commit ourselves to one another and our whole life unto Christ our God. To you, Τον επωράνιον Θεόν, Πατέρα και Λέχη. Πότρι μόνο εν δις ουρανείς, αεζεθήτω του όνομά σου, ερθέτου η βασιλεία σου, γεννηθήτω το θελημά σου, ως εν ουρανό και έπι τη ζεις, τον άρτην ημών των επιούσιων, δώσι μην σήμερον και άπεσι μην το εφελήμετα ημών, ως και εμείς αφήμες εφελέτως ημών, και εμείς εν έγγισης μας εις πειρασμών, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Peace peace be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us bow our heads to the Lord. To Look down from heaven upon those who have bowed their heads before you. They have bowed not before flesh and blood, but before you, the awesome God. Therefore, Master, guide the course of our life for our benefit according to the needs of each of us. Sail with those who sail, travel with those who travel, and heal the sick, physician of our souls and bodies. By the grace, mercy, and love for us of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your holy good and life-giving Spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Lord Jesus Christ, our God, hear us let us be attentive, draw schoolmen. Let us be given to us and by your mighty hand through us to all your people. Thy yates, 
The holy gifts are for the holy people of God. The Lamb of God is broken and distributed, broken yet never divided. He is forever eaten yet never consumed, and sanctifies all those who partake of him. Jesus Christ, Lord Jesus Christ, the victorious one. Christ is risen. If I were to mention to you the names of certain disciples and ask you to write down the first word that comes to your mind, it is unlikely you would come up with the same word. For example, if I were to mention the name of Judas, many of you would write down the word betray but not all of you. If I were to write down or to mention Simon Peter, some of you would write down the word faith, but not all of you. If I were to mention the names of James and John, some of you would write down the phrase sons of thunder, but not all of you. But if I were to mention the word Thomas, there is little question about the word most everyone would write down. It would probably be the word doubt. Indeed, so closely have we associated Thomas with this word that we've coined a phrase to describe him, doubting Thomas. You may be interested to know that in the first three Gospels, Matthew, Mark, and Luke, the Synoptic Gospels, we are told absolutely nothing about Thomas. But it is in John's Gospel that he emerges as a distinct personality. There's not a lot about this disciple in the Bible, but there is more than one description. When Jesus turned his face toward Jerusalem, the disciples thought that it would be certain death for all of them. They were scared, sensing the end. But surprisingly, it was one of them with great faith who said, then let us go so that we may die with him. And that disciple was Thomas. It was a courageous statement, yet we don't remember him for that, do we? We also fail to point out that in this story of Thomas's doubt, we have the one place in all of the Gospels where the divinity of Christ is bluntly stated. It is interesting, is it not, that the story that gives Thomas his infamous nickname is the same story that has Thomas making an earth-shattering confession of faith. He says, my Lord and my God. He doesn't say teacher. He doesn't say Messiah, but he says God. It is the only place in Scripture where Jesus is called God without qualification of any kind. It is uttered with conviction, as if Thomas was simply recognizing a fact, just as 2 plus 2 equals 4, or the sun in the sky. He says, you are my Lord and my God. There are certainly, these are certainly not the words of a doubter, are they? Thomas said, but unfortunately I should say, history has remembered Thomas for this scene where the resurrected Christ made an appearance to the disciples in a home in Jerusalem. Thomas was not present, and when he heard about the event, he refused to believe it. 
Thomas said, unless I feel the nail prints in his hands, I will not believe. Now, I cannot help but notice that Thomas in this instance has separated himself from the disciples and therefore, in his solitude, missed the resurrection appearance. We don't know why or the reason why Thomas separated himself from the disciples. But I think that the evangelist John is suggesting to us that Christ appears most often within the community of believers that we call the church. And when we separate ourselves, taking ourselves outside the church, not attending, we take a chance on missing his unique presence. Isn't that interesting? And allow me to repeat it to let it sink in. Christ appears most often within the community of believers that we call the church, the ecclesia. And when we separate ourselves from the church, we take a chance on missing his unique presence. I remember Father Ted Stylianopoulos, our New Testament professor at school. He used to tell us on the importance of physically being present in the church. He would say, at a point of the liturgy, the Holy Spirit comes down upon the bread and the wine and transforms them into the body and blood of Christ. And then he would look at us and say, do you think that the Holy Spirit only comes down upon that bread and wine and transforms it? No. It comes upon all of us. The Holy Spirit comes down upon all of us and transforms us. Then he looked at us and he put his finger and said, Never miss the opportunity to be in church, for the Holy Spirit is working at all times, and most especially within these four walls. Back to Thomas. The story does not end here. The second time Jesus made his appearance, Thomas was present with the disciples, and this time he too witnessed the event. This time, though, he believed. What can we learn from the life of Thomas? First, that Jesus did not blame Thomas for doubting. Jesus never condemned Thomas, and he doesn't condemn us. I think he understood that once Thomas worked through his doubts, he would be the one of the surest men in all Christendom. You see, everyone doubts. I must admit that I am uncertain of people who say to me that they never have any doubts people who always seem so sure. Authentic faith always begins with intellectual honesty, and doubt is the foundation of honesty. Put it another way, faith is not the absence of doubt, it is the overcoming of doubt. I have heard the cries of people who have lost someone closer to life itself faithful parents who have lost children in accidents. And I must confess, I have thought to myself, is it all true? Is the resurrection a reality? But then am I am reminded quickly of the old saying, there lives more faith and honest doubt than in half the creeds. So we find ourselves crying out, as did the disciple of old, Lord, I believe, help my unbelief. We must move beyond doubt to faith. There are times in our lives when we face grief or disappointment or pain or loneliness or depression or loss. There are times when these things happen that our hold on God falters. When these moments of true, deep doubt come, we must look to our Lord and pray to Him, I believe, help my unbelief. We walk out of the darkness into the light. It is in moments like this that God shows us true reality. These moments of spiritual light are so very important because they allow us to get through the many dark nights of doubt and despair that come to in the lives of every single one of us. In moments of light, God tells us he will never desert us. In moments of light, God tells us resurrection is reality. Darkness should never cause us to doubt. Be the light. Live the light. Experience the light. 
in our daily struggles, and all of us struggle daily, in times of doubt, confusion, and despair, let us use Thomas for the example, not as the doubter, but as the one who proclaimed, my Lord and my God. He is our Lord and our God, even when we are sad. He is our Lord and our God, even when we are angry. He is our Lord and our God, even when we are doubting. He is our Lord and our God. May the light of the resurrected Lord give us peace, comfort. May his light grant to us a new day, the new Jerusalem. And may we walk toward him, him who has given us everything. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, amen. Let us all now rise and together offer the prayers before receiving the body and blood of Christ. I believe and confess, Lord, that you are truly the Christ.
Raphael's clouds so keep loyal son king clean on me on so save all God your people and bless your inheritance now and forever into the ages of ages. Let us be attentive, having partaken of the divine, holy, pure, immortal, heavenly and life-giving and awesome mysteries of Christ. Let us worthily give thanks to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Having prayed for a perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless day, let us commit ourselves to one another and our whole life unto Christ our God. We thank you, loving Master, benefactor of our souls, and on this day you have made us worthy once again of your heavenly and immortal mysteries. Direct our ways in the right path. Establish us firmly in your fear. Guard our lives and make our endeavors safe. Through the prayers and supplications of the glorious Theotokos and of the Virgin Mary and of all your saints. To Patrick, to Yoke, to Yopen, Matin, in Kai, Kays, to say on us, Tone on on. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Lord, bless those who praise you and sanctify those who trust in you. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Protect the whole body of your church. Sanctify those who love the beauty of your house. Glorify them and return by your divine power and do not forsake us who hope in you. Grant peace to your world, to your churches, to the clergy, to those in public service, to the armed forces, to all your people. For every good and perfect gift is from above, coming from you, the Father of lights. And to you we give glory, thanksgiving, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. for memorial prayers, 40 days for Barbara Marino, who sang in our choir, James Mitchell, the father of Gerard, Peter, 35 years, Peter, 24 years, Nareen, 28 years, Peterson, Maria Papamichael, 12 years, Stalios Papamichael, 3 years, Robert Padarakis, 10 years, Suliano Zanikos, 3 months, and James and Faye Volvo, a 1 year for Faye. May our Lord give them all eternal rest, and we pray for the servant of Calliope for the rest of her soul. With the saints give rest, we pray, O Christ, to the soul of your servants in a place where there is no pain, sorrow, suffering, but life everlasting. In your eternal rest, O Lord, where all your saints repose, grant rest also to the souls of your servants, for you alone are immortal. Ocha Patrick, io che a io pneumatici, o Theo Simono catavasi sadin, 
και τα σωδίνα λύσα των πεπεδημένων. Αυτό και τα σύχα των δόλων σου σώτερα να πασόν. O only pure and immaculate virgin, who gave birth to God in virginity, pray for the salvation of the souls of your servants. Methathonayion, anapavson, Christe. Tas psikaston volon su en fa hoi kesti ponos olipi hoi stenaik mos ala zoi atele. Hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the rest of the souls, servants, James, Faye, Stelios, Robert, Stelios, Maria, Peter, Irene, James, Barbara, and Calliope, who have fallen asleep, and for their forgiveness of their sins. Both voluntary and involuntary. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. May the Lord God place their souls where the righteous rest. Let us ask for the mercies of God, the kingdom of heaven, and the remission of their sins from Christ, our immortal King and God. Let us pray to the Lord. God of spirits and of all flesh, who have trampled down death and abolished the power of the devil and given life to your world, give rest, O Lord our God, to the soul of your servants, James, Fay, Stylianos, Robert, Stelios, Maria, Peter, Irene, James, Barbara, and Calliope, who have fallen asleep in a place of light, in a place of comfort, in a place of eternal rest, where there is no pain, sorrow, or suffering. As a good and loving God, pardon every sin which they have committed, whether by word, deed, or thought. For there is no one who lives and does not sin, except for you, the only sinless one. Your justice is eternal, and your word is truth. For you, O Christ, our God of the resurrection and the life and the rest of your servants who have fallen asleep, and to you we give glory with your eternal Father and your holy good and life-giving Spirit, now and forever into the ages of ages. Amen. <laughs> Και εσύ την δόξα να αναπέμπομεν σι του ανάρχου σου πατρί και το Παναγίο και αγαθό και ζωπιό σου πνεύμα την ίν και αή και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων. May your memories be eternal, our dear brothers and sisters who are worthy of blessedness and everlasting memory. May your memories be eternal, our dear brothers and sisters who are worthy of blessedness and everlasting memory. Eonia imni, Eonia imni, Eonia arthon imni.
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Father, hear our blessing. May the blessing of the Lord and his mercy come upon you through his divine grace and love, always, now, and ever, into the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to you, Christ your God, our hope. Glory to you. Son, the Holy Spirit, both now and forever, the ages, the ages, amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Father, give the blessing. May Christ, your true God, who rose from the dead through the intercessions of his most pure and holy mother, the power of the precious and life-giving cross, the protection of the animal bodies, powers of heaven, the supplications, animal glories, prophet and foreigner John the Baptist, of the holy glories and praise of the apostles, of the holy glories and chapter martyrs, holy God bearing fathers, of the evangelist and apostle Mark, the patron saint of the holy church, the ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of the holy apostle Thomas, who we remember today, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us, good God, who loves mankind. Christos Anesti. Christ is risen. Christos Anesti. Alma Sir Kam. Christos Voskresi. Christo Amafefuka. Christos Anviat. Christo Anjal. Vertete Anjal. Christo As Resuscitado. Vera Demente Resuscitado. Christo Azukide. Chiama Zina Azukide. Christos Anesti. Christos Anesti. Christ is risen. Truly he is risen. Christos Anesti. Glorify his resurrection on the third day. We glorify his resurrection on the third day. Christ is risen from the dead by death, trampling down death into those in the tombs. He is granting life. Truly the Lord is risen. God bless you all. Have a wonderful week. This morning, Alexa and DJ Greco from Connecticut, Art and K, Holies, Children, Fortini Andonis and Anna Yanis and family from Samos, Greece, George Grossomanidis from Norwich, Connecticut, the sister of Elaine. Also allow me to announce this morning, and I hope they're still here, maybe not, but if not, you're all going to know and they won't. But um, each year we have our Archangel Michael Award winners of the church, and those are two, one or two people that are chosen from among our faithful who have given of themselves exemplary throughout the entire year, throughout their lives. And their families know of it, but this year, of course, um, we are blessed to have two recipients, and usually the priest in consultation with the parish council of Philopticos um, will make the decision. And this year, our long time and one of the founders, Athena Moraitis, Tina Moraitis, will be honored from our church, and also Kay Poli, who every week is here with her husband, Art, but she's here every week. The two of them give so much to the church. Tina and Kay have continued to do so, and we praise God for them. God bless you all. We'll have, when the time comes, we'll have them come up and we'll give them their awards. Christos Anesti. Fellowship hour for the liturgy after the liturgy.